Did you really think that I could stop myself at two reviews of Toddler Titans? It would be especially hard for me to stop because they have the strangest response to criticism that I've ever seen. Yes, let's dub over the original footage twice with stupid bullshit when people think that you didn't watch the original show. Or when I call them Toddler Titans, they make episodes about cooties and the wonders of the bathroom. They're like, yeah, we suck and we're proud of it. We don't care if we can make the writers of Planet Sheen blush with our malformed crap. Yeah, this show's gotten that bad. Today, we'll be talking about the Wonders of the Bathroom episode. It starts with Robin wanting to go to the bathroom, when we have a random musical number. Yes, for some reason, these artists think that it's a good idea to fill each of their 11-minute episodes with two pointless songs. At best, they kill time. We're doing the pee -pee dance! I invented the pee -pee dance! Wait. You're half robot. By the way, if you want to make a song about needing to go to the bathroom, someone kinda already beat you to it. And they actually put fucking effort into it! This showcase annoys Robin so much, he decides to call the whole group to a meeting. As Titans, we spend on average 3% of our time fighting crimes. I think you've got other issues besides the bathroom then. 18% doing food related activities. Can you define food related activities? of the Titan's time is spent in the bathroom. This cannot go on. Well, technically, that could be considered food-related. Anyway, Robin makes a time limit for the bathroom. No one can be in there for more than five minutes. Then we learn that the others need more time in the bathroom. Raven needs it for tap dancing. Cyborg sings in there. That's where I do my steam painting, the most temporary of art forms. Perfection. Alright, Beast Boy's steam painting thing is stupid, and the other two can do their activities literally anywhere else. This is something that they point out later, by the way. Does it go against their character? I'm going to say no. These titans have no character. Therefore, the point is moot. They can do whatever they want to, and thus, nothing is out of character, but it is absolutely impossible to care about them. And when you can't care about someone, you can't find anything that they do funny. Uh, it is where I create my favorite recipes. This will be the most delicious pot of the chili. I could be complaining, but those guys are getting what they deserve. Since Robin is the only one that's making some kind of sense here, he's the antagonist for the episode. Don't you understand? The bathroom is a special place for us. It's a place of magic. Someone tell the internet, there's something to corrupt. It is true, Robin. Humankind did not advance into the modern age until they encountered the first bathroom. First of all, you're an alien. Second of all, we were already well into the Industrial Revolution before we had indoor plumbing. It's kind of strange, really. Came from nobody knows. I do. We built them with pipes and tile. Then Robin demonstrates that he can do everything needed to do in a bathroom in under five minutes. This isn't going to take five minutes real time, is it? All right, Robin, how about cleaning the bathroom? All right, they don't clean anything because they're lazy idiots. Also, by the end of this, the bathroom explodes. Apparently, that's what happens when the timer hits zero. No, Starfire. The fire is on the room. Oh, why the explosion? Remember, five minutes. I will be watching. Okay, you pervert. Then we see the others doing bathroom-related activities and not making the timer. And two weeks later, the Titans look like that. The five-minute standard killed the magic for us. We don't even bother to go into the bathroom now. Then where do you shit? Robin doesn't understand what makes the bathroom so special, so the others decide to teach him how great it is. Then we get our second out-of-nowhere musical number. Someone want to explain to me how this got so popular that it's on its second season? I mean, it's probably the worst show airing on Cartoon Network right now, discounting anything on Adult Swim. And like Breadwinners, everything that you could like it for has been done better by something else. Steven Universe is a better representation of what the original Teen Titans was. Adventure Time is better at surreal humor. Regular Show is better at using less than likable characters. And Gumball is better at general comedy. What does Go still have? Superhero references? Any show can have superhero references, and when they do, they tend to understand the source material. Robin abolishes the five-minute standard and demands some time alone. He's still there the next day and won't let anyone in. You know, if this show was smarter, I could see this as Robin trying to teach the others a lesson about hogging the bathroom. I mean, most other baby spinoffs would do something like that. But no, Robin is actually enthralled with the bathroom, more than anyone else had been. The others force their way into the bathroom and, uh, get into a fight scene. There really isn't much of a way I could put this and not make it sound dirty. You're gonna have to take it from me! <laughs> Who said that? Chris Rock? You may call me John! <gasps> you can talk? So apparently the bathroom can talk. Like, 
Chris Rock. He says the bathrooms have come down from space, seeking to use Earth as their home because their homeworld, the planet of the bathrooms, had been destroyed. But Robin's problem was that he loved the bathroom too much. And because one person decided to abuse his bathroom privileges, all of the bathrooms on Earth, do you guys have any alcohol? You might want to take it. All of the bathrooms on Earth, because Robin abused his bathroom time, decide to leave Earth forever. They break out of their houses and fly into the sky. Then they create a halo and start spinning. Then they blast off to never be seen again. Okay, is there a reference that I'm missing here? Or were the writers smoking some tentacolino? They were, weren't they? If this was supposed to be a reference, you're supposed to be able to follow along, even if you don't know the source material. And that was some of the most batshit insanity that I've ever seen. And then this episode ends on the pee-pee dance. Well, that was a mindfuck.